Hey guys, my name is Coco and welcome back to my channel. So today we have another episode where I review products that came out a while ago and for this episode I was really excited for because today we are reviewing the 3CE Matte Foundation. Like always I will start with the packaging and the packaging this time is really simple. It has this beige kind of color overall, then it has 3CE style number written in the middle, the back side is black where your number is written on and it comes with this puff. So the puff is a bit bigger than the normal size puff so you can apply your makeup quickly on the go for example and this has a 15, no it has 14 grams in it. This product is also special because it has a mesh net system which distributes your product evenly and you can get an even apply. Then to the price and the colors, so this range is between 20 and 30 dollars of course depending on where you buy it and I bought it on stylenunder.com and I think it was around 28 dollars if I remember correctly. Then to the colors, there are two colors available of course with all with most Korean cushions that is not enough. So there are the colors 001 which is a light beige and the color I have is 002 which is medium beige which has a beige kind of and yellow like undertone which I really like because I have that kind of undertone. To coverage in my opinion this one has a great medium coverage that you can layer and what I did notice while wearing it that it also blurs out your pores however I have to say it doesn't cover all my imperfections but you will see that better when I apply it when you can watch this later on in this video. To the finish this one gives you a natural and slightly dewy kind of finish it gives you that radiant look which is really beautiful in my opinion this also has an essence in it which will moisturize your skin and I really like that because I have really dry skin. To longevity this one stays all day long I didn't have to do any touch-ups while wearing it and what actually happened so I fell asleep while wearing it and my eye makeup was smudged my lip makeup looked not pretty at all but my foundation looked the same way it did when I applied it and this was amazing. <music> And this is my bare face. I just did my skincare and my eyebrows and instead of using the puff it comes with I will use the Real Techniques Beauty Blender because that is what I do most of the time. I only use the puff when I'm on the go. And first I will do this side of my face then show you in comparison both sides and then I will do the other sides and show you close up. And I tap it in lightly because I think using it for a while that was the best method and it looked the most beautiful. And this is half of my face done. You can see a slight glow there but it doesn't cover all my imperfections. And now I will do this side of my face. This is my full face done with the foundation. Then I went to their website to read out what this product claims and tell you my opinion on that. So this one has SPF 35, then you don't need any retouches, it says zero retouches and I think that is true. Then it has perfect coverage and in my opinion it has good coverage. And then it says it will last you for the whole day, which I think is also true. And it also says it has a mesh net system and a bigger size puff, which is also true. Then to the question I always ask in my reviews and it is would I recommend this product and the answer is definitely yes. When I tried it for the first time I already knew that this cushion would be one of my favorites in this year and I really love the finish. I love that slightly dewy and radiant kind of finish. I think it looks beautiful. I love that it stays all day long. That has an essence that will moisturize my face and I can only recommend this product. 
and this is the end of today's review thank you so much for watching tell me in the comments what you think about this product and i would love to know what is your favorite 3ce product and i would love to welcome you on this channel and be a part of it so if you haven't subscribed subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video bye